Hello everyone, my name is Sudhindra and I'm part of the supply chain organization in Cisco. I lead the supply chain transformation team in India and also the university recruiting for supply chain in India, partnering very closely with our emerging talent recruiting team. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about Cisco's supply chain, the various roles that we hire for from universities uh, for supply chain, and also give you an overview of the kind of skill sets that we are looking for in candidates when we hire for these roles. I hope you'll find this brief video useful and informative. Let's get started then. Let's talk about supply chain first. I think now more than ever before in the history, more and more people are becoming familiar with this term called supply chain. With everything that's happening around the world, from the pandemic to the geopolitical unrest to the trade wars that are going on between nations and the blockage of Suez Canal and whatnot, we've all been hearing the challenges that global supply chains are facing. And we also be, are, are feeling the impact of those challenges, right, in our daily lives, in terms of component shortages, increased costs, and whatnot. So the supply chain of modern times is really facing an unprecedented challenge. But as all of you know, with challenges comes great opportunities. And I strongly believe there's never been a better time to be part of a supply chain organization, solving some of the most interesting challenges that we have had in a while. Let's shift gears and talk about Cisco supply chain in specific. Some of you might be aware of the fact that Cisco supply chain is the best supply chain in the world. We have been ranked as number one on Gartner's top 25 supply chain rankings. It's not just this year, every year, right? For the past few years, we have been consistently in the top 10 supply chains of the world. This is only a testimony to the fact of the testimony to the fact that of the strong supply chain practice that we have in Cisco and an amazing talent of supply chain professionals we have here at Cisco. Cisco supply chain is truly global, right? We operate in multiple continents. We are truly a diverse supply chain given the complexity of Cisco hardware portfolio as well as the breadth of our portfolio, right? It makes Cisco supply chain one of the most unique, complex and diverse supply chains. Apart from being number one on Gartner, Cisco supply chain has also won several accolades when it comes to being a sustainable supply chain. We care a lot about climate change, greenhouse effect, and uh, we also deeply care about human rights and following an ethical uh, business practice when it comes to supply chain, right? And, and the industry has always recognized Cisco supply chain for all of these things. Let's uh, talk a little bit about how the teams within the supply chain in Cisco are organized, right? Within supply chain at Cisco, we have teams that, that do innovation, plan, source, make, deliver, quality, as well as transformation. So the entire end-to-end -end, uh, spectrum of supply chain is represented within Cisco, right? And we have roles in each of these functions. For now, I would want to talk about a few specific roles that we generally recruit from campuses. I will talk about, about, uh, talk about maybe four or five roles that we generally uh, recruit university students for and give you a little bit of an overview of what those roles are and the skill sets that we look for. Let me first talk about hardware engineering. As you know, Cisco has a, a wide uh, breadth of hardware portfolio and we are looking at technical engineering graduates that can help design, redesign, test, validate, uh, failure analysis of the hardware product portfolio that we have. Uh, for hardware engineering, uh, we typically look at uh, uh, graduates from electrical engineering, electronics engineering, and mechanical engineering to step into the role of, let's say, uh, electrical product engineer or a mechanical product engineer, which are the roles that fall under the Uber umbrella of hardware engineering. The second role that I want to talk about is software engineering. Uh, like other parts of the, any other parts of the business, right? A lot of our uh, business processes is, are supported by processes. So a software engineer typically is responsible for developing, design development and test and maintenance of the applications and the software that drive our supply chain business processes. This is a very common role that we can find in several uh, functions within supply chain. And generally we are looking at uh, engineering graduates with a computer science background electrical or electronics background, uh, information technology, information science and related uh, uh, background, right? With strong uh, programming knowledge and coding skills uh, that to step into the role of a 
software engineer. Another interesting role that we have in Cisco supply chain is that of a business analyst. As most of you might know, supply chain is driven by a lot of business processes and there's a constantly a need to analyze, understand, improve and make these processes better. And that is typically the role of a business analyst. For the business analyst role at Cisco, at the entry from a university level, we are looking for uh, engineering graduates or uh, MBA graduates who, ha who have a background in operations, supply chain, uh, operations research, right, and, and similar fields. So, uh, and, and typically, I, like I said, right, a business analyst role involves uh, business process mapping, business process re-engineering, and continuous improvement kind, driving continuous improvement kind of initiatives. Another key role that we have is around data and analytics. As you know, data is the new oil and supply chain generates a ton of data. And these data can provide very insightful uh, ideas and, and uh, insights about how we are performing with respect to our various business processes. So we look at hiring uh, technical graduates, engineering graduates with strong programming skills, analytical skills, and folks uh, that are comfortable with uh, data analytics and visualization tools, and, and also MBAs that have studied supply chain and operations uh, along with analytics background. Uh, are, the, are the folks that we generally consider for a data analyst kind of a role. Uh, last but not the least, uh, for those of you that are interested in uh, pursuing a program management path, we also hire uh, project specialists. Uh, so uh, project specialists are generally uh, folks that have a background in operations and supply chain and understand the basics of project management. And these, uh, like I said, uh, the, the future career path for project specialists is to be on the path of becoming project managers and program managers. Apart from these skills, right, uh, the, uh, the hard skills that I talked about and the academic requirements that I spoke about, uh, we also focus a lot on soft skills that are absolutely necessary for us to succeed in some of these roles, in all of these roles, to be very honest with you, right? So we look for candidates with very strong communication skills, influencing skills, strong presentation skills, ability to work with cross-functional teams seamlessly, ability to collaborate and, and really work as a team to achieve the vision the team is after. Uh, these soft skills, so to speak, are equally important uh, and, and uh, critical for success in any of these roles. And that is something that we assess during our uh, recruitment process as well. So hopefully I gave you a little bit of a flavor of the roles within Cisco supply chain. What are they responsible for at a high level? And what are the specific skill sets that we are looking when we are trying to recruit for these roles? As always, uh, the success of any organization depends on its people and we are always welcome talent with open arms. So if you're the kind of person that, is, that has good technical background, is not shy to uh, question the status quo, is constantly trying to improve things and is self-driven and motivated and looking to solve some of the most complex uh, supply chain problems, then Cisco Supply Chain is definitely the place for you. I hope to see at least some of you as part of Cisco supply chain teams in the future. And I hope this video was helpful. Uh, all the very best and thank you and looking forward to seeing some of you pretty soon. Take care. Have a good day. Hi, uh, I welcome you to be part of the Cisco family. Uh, at Cisco, we provide an open and agile environment to explore best ideas, challenge the norm, and develop your skills. Uh, Cisco is not just a place um, where we built the internet. Um, we keep building it today and even in the future. Uh, first the internet of computers, then the internet of people, and now the internet of everything. Uh, our technology changes the way we uh, work, uh, we play, and we learn every single day. But our edge does not come from technology. Our edge actually comes from our people. Inclusivity is our strength and our priority. Uh, we want every employee to feel valued, respected, and heard. We thrive on diverse thinking, ideas, and practices in everything we do. Our employee resource groups, like the um, Early Career Network, 
our Pride Network, our CIRA Network, our Men for Inclusion, our Cisco Connected Women, uh, all of these networks actually help us keep our ears to the ground. We like to keep everyone happy and healthy. Uh, from financial security to personal growth, we take care of our employees. Take your birthday off and it's on us. We have generous paid time offs and holidays. We also have flexible work practices. In fact, flexible and remote working uh, was a, a way of working for us even before the pandemic came and made it fashionable. Um, our medical centers offer consultation with doctors and health checks online. Uh, they were extremely resourceful through the pandemic uh, for our employees. We increased capacity as well. Uh, we provide for our employees and families with access to world-class physicians and uh, who offer uh, medical advice and second opinions whenever they are needed. Uh, we believe in sharing responsibility at work and at home. Um, one reason why all of our new fathers get about four weeks off as paternity leave. Um, yeah. Are you a sports lover? Uh, be it badminton, basketball, TT, carom, virtual golf, foosball, or even a massage chair experience, we have it all on the campus. It is a must visit for you to uh, actually experience the spirit of Cisco. Uh, we empower social change agents with technology and expertise. Our goal is to accelerate global problem solving uh, to benefit people, society, and the planet through our CSR initiatives. Uh, give back to the community when you want, how you want. Uh, take up to about 10 days off uh, of paid leave to give back to any of your community service engagement or giving back initiatives, and it is on us. The company meets any attempt that you make towards uh, community service step by step and um, you know, promotes all of your efforts equally. Uh, taking care of the planet, at Cisco, we believe in environmental sustainability uh, and we think it's critical for economies and for all global citizens. Uh, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, preserving biodiversity and natural resources and also designing our products to minimize waste. These important actions are factored into every aspect of our business. Would you want to be a culture shaper? Uh, would you want to be part of an organization that pioneers uh, forward-looking and future-focused HR initiatives in all of these areas? If your answer is a, is a big and confident yes, I will look forward to welcoming you into Cisco very soon. Thank you. Hello and warm welcome to all my viewers. My name is Manish Mehrotra. Today I'll be talking about digital enterprise solution, what it does and what kind of talent we need to cater to its journey. So let's get started. Digital enterprise solution is backbone for Cisco's digital journey or digital enablement. It's our very platform which helps Cisco innovate and build new products. Once the products are built, it can be showcased to our customer through the, through the applications or solutions built by our, our group. We also help our customer to buy this product or make it part of a bundle or a complex solution and buy it from our very platform. Once customer bought that solution, in conjunction with customer, we enable telemetry so that we can monitor the solution or their whole network and preempt them in case we see any distress. That creates a world-class customer experience. We don't stop there. We also enable Cisco to recognize their $50 billion run rate per year through this very platform. Now, this was part of overall transaction, what Cisco does. We also look at the solution which is made by our products which are made by Cisco 
how can we enable them in our own backyard or in our own data centers and showcase to our customers so that they can look at the, the right solution and harness the power of product. We also are our first customer for the product usage and give a lot of feedback to our product team to make our products better. Not only that, as I said, we build world-class solution. Every world-class solution needs a team which looks at the technology and the tech stack across industries and standardized in such a way that we can harness the power of technology. And we have, a, we have a team dedicated for that as well. So overall, we not only enable Cisco's transactional journey, but also showcase the power of product and partner with, with the likes of public cloud or SaaS vendors to enable world-class solutions which can be showcased to their, their customers to, to implement right solution. So we are at the forefront of digital journey enablement in the industry. Now, on to the second part, what kind of talent we need to enable these, this journey? So at the broader spectrum, we need two kinds of skill sets which we look for, engineers and analysts. From the engineer standpoint, we look for people who are passionate to work on data center, you know, Cisco products, and, and doing the innovation where they can build solution in such a way that our, we can build, uh, we can use Cisco's technology and, and create world-class solution with public cloud and enable the whole hybrid cloud journey across across the platforms. We also look look at people who are passionate about data, who can look at data and build models which are which are best in class from the stand, industry standpoint and can give insights to Cisco to further their business and their innovation. We also look for application engineers who are passionate on building best-in-class solutions or applications to cater to transactional need. Now, as I said, we not only just enable system we also enable processes to enable processes we are we also look for we also look for uh, business analysts or system analysts who can understand what the business processes are and how can they translate back to the specs which can be taken by engineer and and they, they would be able to build a solution. So these are primarily two skill sets which we look for. And from, from, the, from the education standpoint, we look for engineers who are major in computer science. So if you are passionate about building application or harnessing power of data or working on world-class Cisco products, you have you should did look at Cisco as one of your prospective employers. Thank you and have a great day. Cisco, the bridge to possible.